does NASCAR need shorter races? After Sunday night's race in Atlanta, which was rain shortened, a number of people in the NASCAR industry, media members, crew people, the likes of the sorts, and fans have called for shorter races, which is kind of perplexing, right? Like, if you're a race fan, you like to see as much racing as possible, and calling for your premier series to have shorter races does seem a little counterproductive to that point. At the same time, I completely understand wanting to shorten up the length of a race. Sometimes races can go three and a half to four hours. It's a pretty long time. Everybody from baseball with their pitch clock and shortening games, Rob Manfred thinks he saved the game of baseball. I'd beg to differ on that. But college football is also looking at speeding up their games. Now NASCAR has this debate going on within its ranks of should races be shorter? And I'll be honest, I don't think shorter races are the answer. Part of the reason we saw such great racing on Sunday night, one, is it's somewhat manufactured because of the package that they run there, but two, that intensity was because nobody knew when the race was going to end. And I saw a number of people being like, that race was so good, it was so intense, this is why we need shorter races. Here's the thing though, if you have a 300 miler at Atlanta, which is basically what they almost ran, they're 25 miles shorter, 23 actually. If you have that, everybody's still just riding around until the end of stage one, riding around until the end of stage two, and riding around until the checkered flag falls when the money gets paid out. Nobody's racing that intently, or intensely, I should say, over the course of the whole time. And that's what sort of is annoying about this, and people fail to realize that. Because if you just have a 300 miler, when you know the race is going to finish at 300 miles, or whenever the hell the green-white checker is, nobody's racing absolutely balls out. We're not seeing Christopher Bell make those insane moves down the backstretch into turn three that he was making. We're not seeing guys chopping other people off just because they aren't sure when this is going to end, which is what happened on Sunday night. If they know when it's going to end, they're all just going to put themselves in position and then ride around. Sure, you're going to have people trying to make up you know, ground and everything, but you're not going to see third place, fourth place jumping out as early as they did and making the moves that they were doing because they don't know when the race is going to end. That's why they were doing that. If they do know when the race is going to end, they're not making those same moves. So that's the part that's a little perplexing to me, and I don't know why everybody's all caught up on that. Then you move into the fact that a shorter race, a 300 miler, is basically like right around three hours, right? When you work in stage breaks and then other natural cautions, if NASCAR is not driving around for 15 minutes under caution, and if stage breaks alone weren't 10 to 15 minutes long, you could really shorten up these races, but for whatever reason, we have this built-in TV commercial time out just so we can come back to the race and go to more commercials. It's perplexing to say the least again. So that's all fine and good, but at the same time, shorter races aren't really going to capture everyone's attention. I saw everybody being like, if you're gonna have Sunday night races, you gotta have shorter races. If this race goes 400 miles, it likely ends a little bit before 1030. Not that crazy. And people are out here losing their minds uh, about that being too late. And again, if that's too late for you, if 10.30 East Coast time is too late for you because you got to get up for work the next morning, I don't know what to tell you. Um, sometimes you might just get six hours of sleep. And that is what it is. But people were losing their minds. i got to get up for work the next day. It's 10.30 East Coast time. What, what time do you people go to bed? I don't understand. So there's that factor to throw into it. I think... Uh, a not thought about factor of shortening the races is what happens with the ticket prices. You can't take away 100 miles of racing and continue to charge the same price for tickets. Fans are not going to be happy about that. They're already not happy about tickets for the Chicago street race and most of them didn't even buy those. So you talk about leaving ticket prices what they're at. And I don't know what they were for Atlanta, but let's say they're $90 a ticket, which they're probably actually closer to 100 if I'm going to guess. But if they're $90 a ticket, you take away 100 miles, now you're taking away a quarter of the race, essentially. Does a quarter of the ticket price go away? I don't know. Is that ticket now $70 a piece? It should be. Will it be? Probably not. So I think there's a lot of unforeseen consequences of wanting these shorter races. Shorter races also mean less time for TV to sell commercials, which means more commercials will be happening in a shorter amount of time, which is, again, not ideal. They signed up for X amount of races at X amount of distances to sell commercials in that time slot. Now, if you want to take away a quarter of the race distance and tell them, oh, you have to sell commercials for this, guess what? That means we're going to be at commercial for a lot longer. Or we're going to have more sponsored segments. We're going to come right back from a commercial and Mike Joy is going to lead us right into the Toyota Car Care Center tip of the race or whatever other bullshit that they're pushing that week. So, I don't know. 
I don't necessarily think we need shorter races. Pocono, shorten that up. Make it 300 miles. Make it 325. I don't care. I, here's what I want to see a NASCAR when they get to Pocono. I want to see them get into the track and get out of the track as quick as possible because stage racing has absolutely ruined Pocono for the most part. If you can guarantee me Pocono is like a fuel mileage race every single year that we go back there, make it 400 miles, make it 500 miles. I don't give a shit. But if you're going to tell me that it's going to be a stage break that's going to set up for one fuel run with fuel mileage not even being a factor, and it's just going to be guys going as hard as they can, I have no interest in that. Because Pocono is just not good. Um, especially with this car. Especially with basically any car since I would argue maybe the Gen 4 car. It was okay there, but for the most part, it's not a very good race. So at the same time, I can see an argument for shortening some races and i can see an argument for not shortening majority of races if you want to make every intermediate 400 miles and no 500 miles totally fine with that bristol should bristol night should always be 500 laps people are very getting very confused on that uh talking about shortening bristol from 500 miles to 400 miles if we're doing 500 miles at bristol there's gonna be a lot of dizzy guys out there and uh, i don't think we're gonna make it to the end but if you want to make the spring bristol race if it goes back to concrete 400 laps fine Good by me. Martinsville already moved to 400 laps uh, in their spring race. Uh, everything else, Taldega, I'm fine with keeping those at 499 or 500 or whatever the heck they're at now because it's 188 laps, a little bit longer than Daytona. Daytona already has a 400 miler and a 500 miler. And then Southern 500's got to stay at 500. Coke 600's got to stay at Coke 600. So outside of that, uh, I don't really, and most of the other tracks have already shortened the races to basically 400. Um, New Hampshire this weekend is 301 or 300, and it's, I mean, that's fine. It's a, it fits in a suitable time frame. Same with Phoenix. It's, what, 312 laps? Totally fine. Uh, yeah, so I don't really have, um, I don't really have any desire to shorten races. I'm interested to see what everybody else thinks, because there's some people that are, like, shorten the races, and then there's a lot of people that are, like, hell no, don't shorten the races. If so, I'll grab my torch and pitchfork we're headed to charlotte we're headed to daytona we're gonna get ben kennedy we're gonna bring him out here and we're gonna talk about this like we're i don't know henry the eighth so either way let me know what you think like and subscribe to the channel follow me on tiktok at break hard and twitter instagram threads at break hard blog